One trick that Apple launched with the iPhone 16 series was keeping depth information for photos if the software thought a portrait mode effect might be needed later on. So you can snap this and then after the fact, even days later, change the depth of field with an advanced software effect to end up with something like this. Which is cool and often makes a routine snap of a person, pet or group of people absolutely pop. Do make sure you've got the right subject selected though. It kind of gives off a DSLR vibe, I think. If you have time to frame a shot for something more arty, you can normally get good natural optical depth of field by using focus and exposure lock. Now in the past, tapping the viewfinder sets the focus and tapping and holding sets the focus and exposure lock so you can then pan away and do something really arty. This still works, but the new camera control for all its other faults can make focus locking more intuitive. In settings, camera, camera control, you need to have lock focus and exposure turned on. Thereafter, when getting R2, you just press and hold lightly, and this brings up the auto exposure and auto focus lock. You can then pan, you can adjust the framing, and a bit more pressure takes the shot. The swipeable mini menus on the camera control are still a bit dumb, I contend, but at least I've given some ideas, some functions for this control, which I think are cool.